Hey, this is a tool demo for Case. What is Case, you may ask? Case is a test management system for development and quality assurance teams. The software can help to boost the software testing efforts of a company and therefore increase its efficiency. With Case, you can do a lot of things. First of all, you can manage test cases. Case test suites can help you to organize all your test cases into logical groups. Next up is the execution of so-called test runs. You can compose test plans and then run those tests. Furthermore, you can test your software in a team. You can invite other people, assign roles and so on. Another good feature of Case is the integration with other tools. So you can integrate it with Jira, GitHub, Slack and many more. Now I'm going to try to show you the basic functionalities of Case. For this, I will use the demo project which is provided by Case if you sign up for a free trial. Let's begin. This is our project review. Here we can see, for example, the demo project provided by Case themselves, or we can create our own. I will concentrate on the demo project for now. A possible use case for different projects in a company could be an Android version or an iOS version. These, of course, have different testing measures and therefore different projects might be needed. So let's go into the demo project. We have our demo project here and the test repository of this demo project. In the test repository, you can see the several test suites, for example, authorization projects and workspace. What is a test suite? A test suite is a container which contains um, cases that belong to certain processes. In this case, authorization, sign up, password restore, sign up with invite link. Besides the test repository, we have the case review. Unfortunately, this is, that is a paid um, functionality. We have shared steps, so we can share our testing steps with our team. We have milestones we can create, more on that later. We can create test plans, execute test runs, more on that later as well, and uh, create defects, which we encounter during our testing. Due to time restrictment, I will only concentrate on the predefined test cases because creating test cases ourselves would take too long for this demo. But let's assume we created a test suite. This is authorization in this case, and this contains several test cases. Let's concentrate on authorization. I just quickly want to show you what you can assign to these cases. So the title of the test case is authorization. The description is just that users can log into the application using an email and password. It's defined as as authorization suite. Um, if that doesn't work, it is set as a blocker. You can set several other aspects as well. It is a high priority, of course, due to the fact that if you can't authorize, you cannot log in. Uh, you can set a behavior, a milestone. For example, you want to have that authorization ready for the release 1.1 and um, you can set the type of the test. You can automate these tests or not automate them and you can set preconditions. Another important fact for the tester or for the QA team in particular are the steps to reproduce. This is an introduction for the specific case so which pro uh, steps have to be followed. After that, we understood what's the case, that we can create a case, and that we can define several aspects of that case. What we can do now with the case is run it. So let's go to the test runs. A test run is a predefined process which goes through all the test cases you can select. So let's start a new test run. Let's name this demo test run authorization. The description is we want to test our authorization case. We don't have a plan. Um, the environment is our normal one, so not selected. We want to test it for the 
1.1 release and I want to assign myself. Let's add the authorization now. As you can see, all of the authorization cases within the authorization suite are selected now. So four in total. Let's start the run. If we are clicking on demo test run authorization, we get right into the testing management itself. Let's open the wizard for the ease of use. So if we would be part of the QA team in our software company, we would try to reproduce every step which is listed here and assign past failed blocked or skipped case. So go to sign up page case login expected result sign up page is shown that one passed this page was shown as we did here we can go through all of the test cases and said okay maybe it failed maybe it blocked or passed so we filled the form with login test and password test yeah we did remember me checkbox and we clicked on the login button so authorization pass. If we would do that for all of the below, for example, we skip this case, we pass this one and we pass this one. We could go back. Let's pass this one as well. We get the result and we see what was the st start time of our test what was the time spent on our test and what is the completion rate of our test. We can also share this report with other people in our team or we can export it as an uh, Excel, for example. As it is with everything in life, even in testing, sometimes it doesn't work. So let's create a new test run. This will just be the test authorization to with the same settings as before I will assign myself again and all of the authorization processes let's start the run now we have the test authorization to I will enter it open the wizard and we imagine we go through all of these steps as a QA tester again and once we reach the sign up with the invite link so open email with invitation letter and click on button join workspace that doesn't work then after we clicked failed we are prompted with the add a run result so we could say after i clicked the join workspace button my browser crashed which is not likely because in the email it won't crash but anyway let's imagine that we can um, tell case how much time we spend on the case and maybe drop a file here uh, in order to post a screenshot, for example. Then we can also create a new defect and the defect title is sign up with invite link because it didn't work. The severity is a blocker because I couldn't sign up and then I added a result. Once that happened, you can see that our test authorization is only at 75% due to the fact that one test has failed. When we go back, we can even see that here. So in our first test, we passed four tests. In our second, we only passed um, three and one failed. To get an overview of our defects, we can go into the defects tab and then you can see our just newly created defect sign up with invite link created by Leon Pavelcic. We can look into that and um, this is in progress. Here you can see the steps which failed and we can s add a comment, for example, at Leon Pavelcic, fix this issue, please. Then we send it and um, mark this defect as in progress and uh, afterwards after we we adjusted some settings we re resolve it 
resolves the defect and the defect is successfully resolved and uh, you can see the green check mark here. If we wouldn't want to create a new test run every time manually, we could also compile several test runs into a test plan. So let's assume uh, check all cases, hashtag test plan. We want to check all our cases. Then we add all of our cases and create the plan. When we run the test run now, so we start the test run, then we select check all cases test plan and it automatically applies all 10 test cases and we can start the run as you usual. So this was my tool demo of case. In my opinion, case is a very intuitive and easy to use test management software. After one or two hours, you get into the gist of things and you can easily create your own tests and uh, run them and get easy and understandable results. You can share them with your team and even more integrate them, for example, in your Slack channel if you want to. So every time you create a defect, your coworker might get a notification and this makes software testing, in my opinion, very, very intuitive and easy. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you got a glimpse of what the case is all about. Goodbye.